It's March 21st, 2017, and we're taking a look at the brand new Eshin Aurora 100mm FPV racing drone right here. And the question is, was this aircraft programmed to fall out of the sky when the transmitter dies, or was it programmed to fly away? You see, a lot of users have reported that the failsafe doesn't seem to be working on their Eshin aircraft when they bind them to their FlySky FSI 6 transmitters. And uh, user ABG here asked that question when we posted our quick little five minute test flight of this aircraft. This aircraft flies great, it's a lot of fun, but it costs over a hundred bucks and if your transmitter accidentally turns off, your batteries die, your signal drops out, you don't want your aircraft flying away. And I did a couple hours of research and have been testing this thing and seeing if I could figure out what's wrong with the failsafe because the failsafe does not work on this. If the transmitter dies, this aircraft is just going to fly away. And we'll go ahead and take a look at Betaflight here. And the aircraft is connected to Betaflight. And you go into the configuration and you'll see that, you know, motor stop is set up and it's set up to disarm the motors. Um, we're going to go ahead and turn on our FlySky FSI 6 transmitter here. And we're going to go up into the receiver setup right there and we're going to go into the failsafe and I have turned on failsafe for all the channels throttles on channel 3 um, you can change the value and then click cancel to get a different setting there now it's all the way at 100% and then that means failsafe should work so let's test it out here real quick and we're going to test it out without the battery plugged in because we have the rotors uh, installed here but basically all we're going to do is we're going to arm it and it's going to start beeping at us. So we're going to arm it and then we're going to raise the throttle and you'll see the lights change because the lights change as you raise the throttle. So we're going to raise the throttle about midway and then we're going to turn off the transmitter. The lights should go back to red, the throttle should go back to zero, but you see the transmitter's off and the lights are still at the mid throttle setting. So this aircraft would still be flying. If we turn the transmitter back on, we lower the throttle and disarm it it goes to zero throttle and we're gonna plug in the battery and we're actually gonna show you that it doesn't just stay at that minimum throttle setting I'm gonna hold on to this aircraft really tight when we do this experiment I don't recommend trying this at home but I'm gonna show you that the motors actually slowly speed up whenever the signals lost instead of dropping now we have the configuration set to after one second without signal the flight controller should recognize it and you will actually hear a beep from here after one second so it does recognize that the signal drops but let's go ahead and we're gonna plug in a battery and then we're gonna turn on our transmitter and we're gonna run this little experiment and show you guys that this is not safe okay so I'm going to arm it holding it really tight now this rotor is not going to spin because of the USB plugs right there, but I'm going to give it just a little bit of throttle. Okay, now I'm going to turn off the transmitter. Okay, the transmitter's off, like we've lost signal. Now you hear it getting faster and faster. See, it's actually not slowing down, it's actually speeding up a little bit. So if I lower my throttle to zero, disarm it and turn the transmitter back on. As soon as I turn the transmitter back on, it drops to zero. And you can see that the flight controller does recognize when the transmitter is turned off. It recognizes when the signal's lost. So that shows us that the failsafe is not working on this flight controller and a lot of other people have reported that problem. It costs over a hundred bucks and the failsafe is one of those features that just should come auto-programmed to work without any problems. You know, I guess this really is kind of a testament to the FlySky FSI 6 and its range and its capability because I've flown a number of these around and I haven't lost a single one which means the signal from this transmitter hasn't dropped at all because if it would have the aircraft would have just flown away. If y'all are having the same issue, let us know in the comments. If you have any solutions, definitely let us know. As always, we appreciate you tuning in to RC101 with the Taoist Flyer. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more.